All right, so I just woke up, but I want to go ahead and tell you why I think we are sitting in front of the biggest opportunity in the world right now and why if you are watching this, you are probably somebody that is going to be able to leverage this and jump on this. And the theory is quite simple um, and very practical. Um, so I just want to jump into it. So why do I think we are living right now and what is the biggest opportunity in the world right now? So if we're looking at, at today's world um, and we're looking at how people are getting information or hearing about things, you can probably agree that most of that is done through content, through uh, digital information. And most of that, right, is done through our phones, our computer. I mean, at the end of the day, it's mostly through a screen, right? Information is getting in, in through screens a lot less than in the physical world. I mean, most people are spending their time. It's, it's just so much more convenient to get info on a screen rather than having to get around this place. So people are getting information, knowledge, right, through screens. This is an important thing. What are some, right, through Twitter, through websites, through movies, through TV shows, and a moment. Right, we have IG, I mean, we've got social networks, we've got, uh, I don't know, uh, digital publications, we have, uh, like, uh, you know, media, like, uh, oh no. <laughs> we've got media, like TV shows, movies, etc. right? And so, let's call this the media industry, right? This is media industry. Right, so all this can become into media. Now, on the other side of this, or maybe not on the other side, we have this thing, right? We have tech, we have the tech industry. We've got, I mean, we've got, this, this is a tech, at the end of the day, it's running on bits and bytes, right? Bits and bytes. Um, these are run on computers, um, or processors, or whatever, right? These are, and, I mean, there's examples of this, right, of, of, uh, of tech, right? There's, there's software, there's uh, hardware, but at the end of the day, there's somebody's writing these things, somebody's creating the, the instructions, the algorithms, the code, the processes to go ahead and create these. Now, both of these industries, media and tech, are multi-trillion dollar businesses. Um, the biggest companies in the world are involved in them, and they're actually very well connected because they're all somewhat related into the digital world. Now, why is Codex so big, and why is not only Codex so big, but these other things that are happening so big and going to so impact? Because if you're thinking of uh, these kind of industries, and at the end of the day, our interaction with them as humans, human, is through a screen, right? We use the iPhone through a screen, uh, through a device, we um, read information or watch videos through media, through our screen, like I'm doing now. And up until now, pretty much, there was some sort of correlation between the number of humans, the number of people that you could go and put into here. So if there were a thousand people on your, like a Hollywood, right? Hollywood, for example, is a great example. And I, I like to do like Hollywood and Silicon Valley because it's just important because this is where the value capture is actually going to be. Right, so you would have these huge production companies and budget, whatever. At the end of the day, they are making a piece of content that is going into the screen, right? So even if there's a thousand people working on a movie, let's say, at the end of the day, as a user, as a person, you're going to be watching this on a, on a movie screen, TV screen, on your, on your phone screen, right? If there's a thousand people or one person. And the same goes for tech. If you are a thousand person company or a one person company or then day you're building an app and that is all going into the screen or to the user interface, right? But now the big massive change that's happening and you could see this in a bunch of different ways, you don't need to spend huge production and company budget to create Hollywood level content or anything low, uh, close to that because you can now do it with like, right? VO, runway, uh, video models. I mean, there's image models, right? There's all these different things that are coming out very cheap that allow you, if you know what you're doing, to go ahead and create this type of content. So boom, we know that this whole industry is kind of going to go through a disruption. Maybe not everybody is going to be able to do this, probably not in the beginning, but you're going to have high agency individuals who will be able to create anything that they want on screen, like the matrix. You can create any sort of image, video, audio, if you know what you're doing. I'm already showing examples of how I'm doing this. Um, on my Instagram most. So you have this whole marketing side that is pretty much now one person can create, uh, can capture the value of a thousand, like it's equal, even more, even more. 
And on the other side, you have the app. You have, because of Codex and all this agent for coding, you can now build uh, apps. You can have, and I'm going to explain this again. This is also an important thing, is that the agents allow you to basically kind of like split up time or divide time or multiply your time. So if the way people are going to do this, and this is why it's, nobody's even thinking like this, yet, but I'm telling you, this is what's going to happen, because people are going to do it. People like me are going to show. You're going to have one person. They're not going to be creating one product. <laughs> I mean, some people will be. And they can use agents to do a thousand iterations on that product. A day. Soon, an hour. Because you don't have to do it simultaneously, right? I mean, it could be, you can have 10 agents working on uh, part uh, A, part one, another 50 agents working on part two, right? And they could work simultaneously on this. I'll explain this more, but you can have them each taking care of different things if you orchestrate it correctly. And then you could just have hyperscale in terms of building. Um, so that's one person in terms of the product. You will be able to do a lot more. And so what that really means is now that if we're all competing on the same screen time, Hollywood Studios, Silicon Valley, biggest startups in the world, but one person can create any content that they want and they could also build any product that they want, but they can also, sorry, this is the point here. It won't be one product. You're gonna have thousands of products. Because if you build a ecosystem or a container, and there will be more solutions for this, but you can already do this one, like let's call it ecosystem for products that uses the same internal logic, right? Uses same backend, same auth. So you don't have to waste time with all that boilerplate. Think of hugging face, right, for example. Um, so now you can just, if you have some good pipeline, good uh, architecture set up, let's just call it like uh, auto, uh, auto test and deploy, right? Something that no matter what the PR that you're doing, it will go ahead and make sure that what you deploy is working, is, is, is fine. You can theoretically create, and people will, and I will do that as well, thousands of products a day, a day. And you can create thousands of videos a day around those products. You can actually create videos, and if those videos work, you can then only create products based on these videos. Like the whole structure of what it takes, of what a person can build now, <laughs> is just completely getting reinvented. There's no way anybody's gonna catch up in time for until you figure out how to do this and utilize this. So you can immediately go ahead and figure out really two things that you need to do. Is one, how to create good content and how to create good product or service, whatever. Because once you have these two things, that means you can create any content that you want at a fraction of the cost, faster than anywhere, and you can also create product faster and better and easier than anywhere. And that's why this is the biggest opportunity in the world right now. As a single person, you are de facto going to be and should be able to do this uh, much faster than any organization because you don't have to waste time between decisions, between implementation. And that's it. That's the biggest opportunity in the world right now. I, I just don't see how this won't work. And I'm going to show you how you can do it. Uh, and maybe I'll add this in the next video, but how one person can build a $1 billion company from anywhere in the world, in the jungle. All you need is a, is a phone, a computer, and an internet connection. That's, I'm convinced on that. Um, and so I guess this is the unofficial start of um, the series that I'm gonna be doing, which I'm gonna be walking you through, sharing my mm, lessons, my examples, real workflows, how I'm going to be one person building a $1 billion company. Um, and how you can too, that's the most important thing. If I can do it, anybody can do it. It's just punching down keys on a keyboard um, and living your life in an inspiring way that can help inspire others. So a bit longer version, but hopefully this theory makes sense. Um, and yeah, feel free to push back or give me idea, feedback or whatever.